So as we saw in the previous video, stress and inflammation uh, play a huge role in, well, the lack of production of melatonin um, or soma. Now, obviously, you know, we've seen that we need the cortisol um, in order to function and actually get up in the mornings. Um, but then it's the too much, that's, the, that's where it becomes harmful. Also, inflammation is highly necessary in order to fight diseases and such like. Um, we do need inflammation, but again, too much inflammation um, will go a huge way in preventing the production of melatonin. Now, other things that have been proven to lower this melatonin levels are smoking. So they found the levels of melatonin in smokers to be less than that of non-smokers. Uh, caffeine, which is, seems quite obvious really, keeps us awake. Um, but yeah, that, that can interfere with the production of melatonin. Uh, and as well, body weight has been seen uh, to affect melatonin levels. Uh, another one is um, room light and exposure to light, basically. So the relationship with melatonin and light is, is regulated by the SCN. Um, kind of think of it almost as our, our wake cycle computer. Um, so that, that's coming from our senses, so from the eyes receiving the light. Um, so it's kind of like the talking to the brain to figure out, you know, day and night, um, put it quite simply. Now, if we end up having light when it's night, that confuses the hell out of the computer system. Um, so it's been seen that uh, exposure to room light before bedtime, so that delays the onset of melatonin in 99% of people. Um, and because of that delay of uh, the release of melatonin, that means that there's about 90 minute reduction in melatonin. Um, now, if this is added up over time, you can see the, you can start to see the possible effects on our immune system here. Um, and that's just having the light on at night. Um, you know, as well, even if lights come on during our sleep, um, that's been shown to suppress melatonin by greater than 50% in 85% of trials. Um, so yeah, that's just the eyes receiving light through the uh, eyelids whilst we're sleeping. Now, I'm not telling you this so you suddenly become petrified, you know, you're watching these videos, you're alive. So you're doing well, okay? Uh, the idea here is to give you empowering, empowering information so we can start to make changes that are gonna have huge, huge benefits to our health.